Hey guys, it's Shion and welcome back to my channel. So I'm super super excited for this video today because so as an undergraduate chemistry major, learning a lot about science and chemistry, it's really interesting to see where science and hair care overlap. There's this entire world of cosmetic science where scientists basically devote their lives to understanding hair so they can create better products, this and that. But a lot of the information stays in that world of science. So I'm starting this series called the What, Why, How series where I take some work that's being done in the cosmetic science industry and show how it can explain and back up some of the things we are noticing about our hair by showing what's happening to our hair, why it's happening, and how we can use that information. So breakage and length retention is actually all down to a science. And numerous studies have actually been done on this and what they reveal is quite remarkable. So let's just get into it. When you pull on a single strand of hair, there's a certain amount of force that you need to pull on it once before it breaks. And this can be graphed. where you measure how hard you pull on a single strand of hair and how many times you pull it that hard before it breaks. So if you pull on your hair really, really hard, you only need to do this once before it breaks. But here's where the interesting part comes in. Say you never pulled on your hair that hard, but say pulled it this hard. Your hair could still break if you pulled it enough times. And it doesn't stop there. Even the smallest force, if done enough times, can still break your hair. And when this is all graphed, it shows a very interesting trend. And this is no coincidence or something I just made up. Hundreds and hundreds of hair fibers have been tested and they all show this very same trend. So what does this all mean? Basically, breakage isn't something that happens once when you pull on your hair really, really hard. Breakage can still happen even if you're using the tiniest, tiniest force if you do it enough times. And these tiny forces can be as simple as you gently combing through your hair or gently sliding your fingers through your hair. Those small, small things add up over time. And even though it seems like you're not really doing anything to your hair and those small, small acts individually aren't enough to break your hair, when compiled together, they do end up being able to break your hair in the long run if they're done enough times. In fact, most of the breakage you're seeing isn't the result from these larger forces because in most cases, those larger forces would end up pulling your hair straight out of your scalp before actually breaking your hair. It's the smaller everyday acts and forces that you're putting on your hair that are breaking your hair in the long run. Which is why when you're getting ready in the morning, you see hair in your sink, even if you're being gentle with your hair. And some people are more prone to breakage, which is something I'll explain in full detail in another video in this series. But now let's focus on the breakage itself. So whenever I found this out, like it literally got me really, really excited because it explained why protective styling is so beneficial for us. Whenever we protective style our hair, we're not allowing our hair to go through those small, small daily acts of pulling on our hair when we're combing it, when we're styling it. So over time, we're limiting the amount our hair is breaking. Even if we're always being super, super gentle when we have our hair out, by just doing those small acts, enough times our hair will still break over time so if you are familiar with my channel you know that i talk a lot about protective styling it's the reason why my hair has been able to get as long as it is right now this is my natural hair currently but protective styling really really is so beneficial and now we know why so the next time you hear about people talking about the benefits of protective styling and why you should do it listen to them so i hope you enjoyed this little snippet of information as much as i did learning it and stay tuned for next week's video where i will use science work that's been done in the cosmetic science world to show you guys why your hair 
is staying at the same length if something if that's something that you're struggling with that is actually something that is all down to science as well so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one